Now we ask you bow with some prayer meditations. Bishop O.C. Lewis shall lead us in prayer. Lord Jesus, our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another wonderful day. You have blessed us to be in the land of the living. We give you thanks, we give you praise. Thanking you for your love, for your kindness. Mother, to the thy mercy to the human family, especially to the saints of the Most High God. We thank you for your true plan of salvation that you yourself brought down from heaven, gave it unto men whereby we must be saved. We thank you for our pastor and apostle Bishop Belton Green, our assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel, amen, his assistant. We pray that Lord that you keep on blessing him to do a wonderful job in the glory of God. Mighty God, in your great name, we give you the glory, we give you the praise. Thank you for what you're doing in this Holy Temple Church. Thank you for the many souls that are coming into the body of Christ. Thank you, Almighty God, I ask that you continue blessing. Mighty God, that they hear the word of God, that they repent from their sins and be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, tarry, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, live a holy and a sanctified life right down here in this present evil world. Pray that you have mercy upon the sick, the afflicted, all that are oppressed of the devil. Almighty God, pray that you have mercy upon the religious world, that you open up their understanding and make them to know that there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. We all speak the same thing. Almighty God, we pray as this gospel goes out into all the world, leaders and rulers of the world. Mighty God, let them know that righteousness exalts a nation and sin is reports to any people. Pray, Almighty God, that they rule, they rule in the fear of God. We give you the glory, we give you the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Friends and neighbors, you're tuned to the Bible to God's radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit here to Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Sunday, noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now have a selection from the Holy Temple Senior Radio Choir, dedicated to our radio listeners entitled, How Great Is Our God. How great is our God. Think with me how great is our God. Oversee oh, how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Oversee how great, how great. God, 
Tune to the Bible True Gospel Radio service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Belton Green invites you to visit us here at Headquarters Temple, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York City. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7:30 p.m. Sunday noonday. Now, in case you're interested in reading some biblical literature, the mailing address is Bishop Belton Green, P.O. Box 523. Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located at Fall Headquarters, New York City, 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. 
Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Overseer. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Assistant. Washington, D.C., Martin Luther King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Minister Thomas Norwalk, Assistant. Norfolk, Virginia, 800 Elkin Street on the corner, Capistella and Elkin Street. Elder Lee Taylor, Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Douglas Robinson, Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Assistant. Lost of Virginia, Route 17, near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William in charge, Minister Ernest Page, Assistant. Evergreen, North Carolina, 10362 Lillimington Road, near the Linden Cross Road, Elder Samuel Wilder, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Penny Street, Bishop Green, Pastor, Minister Titus Dixon, Assistant. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street, Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Bishop Randy Mack, Assistant. Yamasee, yeah, South Carolina, number two Wall Street on the Highway 17 in the Yamasee Business District. Bishop Willie Bleach, Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford, Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilkes, Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Albert and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston, Pastor. Cameron, Florida, 2385 Contour Drive, Bishop Green Pastor, Academic Charles Jones in charge. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddystone Avenue, Unit 23, located near Jane Flinch, Elder Carl no Bishop Carl Noah, Pastor. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, the assistant pastor, Bishop Melvin Samuel. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Thank God saints and bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Thank God, say, what a mighty God we serve. My Lord, angel bow for him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God we serve, my Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Thank God that the angel bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. My Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God. Thank God that the angels bow before us. Heaven and earth adore. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Let the church say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord. Truly indeed again we are bound to give great honor. Praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is the head of our life. Praise God. The one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed he is worthy of all the honor. All that we can render. To God Almighty, He is worthy of it all. God bless you, baby. And truly, we want to thank God. We want to praise God tonight from the depths of our heart. Yes. For all that He has done for us. Praise God. And that which He's still going to do. We do on our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Thank God for Bishop Green. Thank God again for him allowing me this privilege to come before you all once more, filling in his stead. 
thank God to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. Thanking God for the word of God. It's going to live it and it's going to abide it forever. Thank God for the selection. I will move behind the choir to come behind it. With Almighty God we serve. Say how great, how great is our God. Yeah. You know everybody don't know. The one place as they were singing, the scripture dropped in my heart. In the book of Titus chapter 1 and verse 16. You have a lot of people professing that they know God. But if they only know how great is our God, they would have humbled themselves under the mighty hands of God. A lot of people, they profess God. Apostle Paul, in the book of Titus, chapter 1 and verse 16. They profess. You see, I come across, I travel a lot. And I come across a lot of people professing mm -hmm. how much they know God. But when it comes to do the works of God and obeying the word of God, this is what the word of they God says. They profess say. that they know God. They profess that they know God. That they know God. But in works. My God, when it put it to the test. My God, you know. Eli, Eli, Elijah, Elijah, tell Abraham, let's put it to the test. Let's put it to the Hallelujah. test. Hallelujah. When you're in works, they deny Hallelujah. Him. My God, they profess that they know God. But in works. But when it comes to obeying God and doing the works of God, they deny him. My God. God is a blessing when you can obey God's word. I'm thanking God on the day of Pentecost. My God, when Peter preached the gospel under the anointing of the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 2 and verse 36. Therefore, therefore, let all the house of Israel know assured. Let all the house of Israel know surely, know surely that God has made that same Jesus, that same Jesus, whom he crucified, whom he crucified, both Lord and Christ, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, my God, listen to this now. When they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. My God. God, you see, they were willing to obey God. Praise God. They were pricked in the heart. And said unto Peter. Said unto Peter. And to the rest of the apostles. And to the rest of the apostles. The men and brethren. What men, shall we do? They wasn't ready to fight. They were ready to humble themselves Amen. and obey. Men, men and, brethren, and brethren. What shall we do? I God, you know, when you're ready to line up with the word of God, you won't fight one thing. That's it, baby. My God, you re listen what they say. Man and brethren. What shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every one of you. The name in of Jesus the Christ. name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of for sin. For the remission of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. My God, you won't fight it. You won't criticize it. You're ready to humble yourself. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise unto the you. The promise is unto you. You and to your children, and to your children, and to all that are far off. My God, I don't care how far you are. We have a group right now on the way here, coming from Fort Myers. My God, they could start out early this afternoon, playing delay in Charlotte, but they call me say, We can't wait to get here. We can't wait. My God, a group of six of them. 
coming. What you coming for? I'm coming to get that one Lord, one faith, one baptism that you preaching. My God, they on the way here. My God, you know, and to all people are crying out all over my Zambia, all throughout Kenya, all over the world. My God, I don't, this gospel is reaching the world. And to all that are afar off, even as even many, as, many as, the Lord our God as the Lord our God shall call. The Lord our God shall call. Many other words did he testify. Many other words did he testify. And exalt saying, Exalt saying, Save yourself. Save yourself. And it's unto a generation. God, hellbound generation. Somebody going to humble themselves is a blessing when you have a mind to humble yourself. They read on. Then they that gladly and receive they his word, that gladly receive his word, were baptized. Were baptized. In the same they, day, they didn't fight them; they humbled themselves. And the same day, they were added unto them, were about, added 3, unto them about three thousand souls. They continued steadfast. When you're ready to do right, you line up with the truth, and you won't fight a word. You're gonna continue steadfast. Pastor, in the apostle doctrine, in the apostle doctrine. And fellowship. my God, that's when you're ready to do right, and then you come and fellowship. Somebody say, "Why you don't fellowship?" Some is a reason. The word of God says, "Have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness." You're professing that you know God, but in works you deny Him. So we can't fellowship you. You say, well, I'm baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. But the word of God say, you better get me Amos third chapter and the third verse. How can listen what it, listen what the prophet Amos said? Amos third chapter and the third verse. Somebody say, you know, we all need to how can two listen why I want the word of God explain it? Read it for me. Amos, third chapter and the third verse. Can two walk together? There's a reason why I can't walk with you. My God, there's a reason why we can't walk together. You're fighting, you're criticizing, but we cannot walk together. Read on. Two walk together Hallelujah. except they be agreed. We can't agree because you after the world, one after the, the flesh, and one after the spirit. So can two walk together? Except they except agree. Except that uh, can two walk together? Except they agree. And get me if Ephesians shall believe chapter five and verse six. Let me hear what Paul charged them. Ephesians five and verse six. Many walk of who have told him, even now weeping. That they are the enemy yes. of the cross of Christ. You can't walk with everything. Read on. Let no man deceive you with vain words. Don't let them come along with vain words. But because professing of these things. that they know God. But in works they deny him. Man. Because of these things. Come at the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Come. It's coming. The wrath of God coming upon this world. Upon the children of, of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partaker with them. Do you hear what the word of God tell me? Be I'm not, obeying what God word tell me. Be not ye therefore. Partaker with them. Come be a part with them. Don't be partaker with them. He sometimes Hallelujah. Darkness. He was sometimes darkness. Now are ye light in the Lord. Light in the Lord. Walk as children My of the light. God, you know when you get the light, you're going to walk as children of the light. Over in fourth chapter, he said, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness, but rather reprove them. You can't walk with everything. But I'm thanking God for the word of God. Every true worshiper is going to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I thank God for the saints of God serving and praising God. How great. Our God is a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a God above all God. Everybody need to humble themselves. All you got to do, beloved, humble yourself. Hallelujah. You better get me. First Peter chapter, I believe, chapter 5 and verse 6. 
That's what God wants us to do. When you're ready to serve God and obey the word of God, you're ready to humble yourself. Read on. Likewise, you younger. Uh, likewise, you younger. Submit yourself unto the elders. God wants you to submit. Submit yourself and to the elders. Yeah, all of you. Yeah, all be subject of you. one to another. My God, God said, be subject one to, one another. to another. And be clothed with humility. It's a blessing when you come across people, humble people. Yes. My God, God don't want no lifted up spirit. Be clothed humility. with humility. Well, God resisted the proud. My God, you know, I don't want God to resist me. The word of God said, God resisted the proud. God resisted the proud. And give grace to the humble. That's why he said, humble yourself under the mighty hand. God resisted the proud. Give grace unto the humble. I, God, God will resist the proud. Yes. Read on. Humble yourself, therefore. Humble. Do you hear what the word of God humble said? Humble yourself, How therefore. God people are humble people. I don't care how much you know. God, people are humble people. That's it, Bishop. Humble yourself, therefore. Under the mighty hand of God. God is too great for us to lift ourselves oh, yes. up against. Humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God. Under the mighty hand of God. Do you hear what God said? My God. That's why he said, a voice say cry. He said, what shall I cry? All flesh is gross. Humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God. Humble yourself. God is too great for any man to lift himself up against. Talk like you own God. God is too great. Listen to what he said. Humble hum yourself. Humble yourself. Under the mighty hand of God. Under the mighty hands of God. That he might exalt you in due time. And when you humble yourself, God can deal with you. How he will exalt you. Due in, time. In, in due time when you but you gotta humble yourself under the mighty hands of God and he will exalt you in what? Due time. Get me James chapter, I believe, four and verse five. James four and you know, it's a blessing. That's why I can't walk with everything. I God, I don't want God to resist me. Listen what the word of God say. James 4 and 5. Do you think the scripture says in vain? Read on. The spirit that dwelleth in us okay. lusted to envy. Lusted to envy. But he gave more grace. To who? Wherefore he said God resisted the proud but give grace unto the humble. Give grace. Unto the humble. Do you hear what the word of God said? God give grace. Come on Bishop. Unto, unto the, humble. the humble. Submit yourself therefore. That's what God want us to do. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, I'm telling you what you must do, what God tells you to do. Submit yourself. Therefore. Therefore. To God. To, to who? To God. To God. Read on. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Read on. Draw nigh to God. Start. You need to get close with God. Get close with God, beloved. Yes. Wherever you are, draw nigh to God. to God. And he will draw nigh to you. And he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners. Oh, ye sinners. And purify your heart, ye double mind. Oh, what a blessing to have a mind to get close to God. One place he said, that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. Ain't no man can talk like God can talk. You see, God can go on back before he form you in the womb. In Jeremiah chapter 1, ain't no man can talk like this. Jeremiah chapter 1 and 4. Listen what Jeremiah, listen what God tell Jeremiah. Then the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Came unto me saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, who can talk like God? Men have to wait till that baby get in the bed. Then they try to do all kind of instrument and come up and test it. And sometimes they come up wrong. But God don't make no mistake. Before I God in the said before I found 
someday. In the Hallelujah. That's why I'm going to stay with God. Before I found thee in the belly. I knew thee. God knew us. And before thou came and fought out of the womb. My God, before he formed us. No, I man, knew thee. no man can talk like this. Before I formed thee yes. in the womb. I knew, I knew thee. And before thou came out of the womb. Before you came out of the womb. I sanctified thee. I sanctified and thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Read on. Then said I. Then said I. Oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God. Behold I cannot speak. Behold I cannot speak. For I am a child. I am a child. But the Lord said unto oh, me. Oh hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. The Lord said unto me. Say not I am a child. Don't tell me you is a child. But thou shalt go. God, God you know God can fix up a man. And he said he will fix. He fix. God know how to fix up a man. Say I'm going to fix you up. Don't tell me about you as a child. You going to go. Yes. Read on. To all that I should send thee. All that I should send thee. Whatsoever I command thee that thou should speak. Read on. Be not afraid of them. My God. My God. God you know you got. You got to be bold. My God. When God send you. Don't be afraid. Of the face. Well, I am with thee to deliver thee. Hallelujah. You know that's the key thing saying. As long as God is with you. You got to come out. I don't care what you're buckling right now. I believe every child of God is coming out. Do you hear what God said? For I am with thee. To deliver thee says the Lord. You know God is a deliverer. Yes he is. God say I am with thee to deliver, to deliver thee, thee said the, the Lord. Lord. Read on. Then the Lord put forth his hands. Read on. And touch my mouth. And touch my and mouth. The Lord said unto me. Said unto me. Behold. Behold. I have put my words in thy mouth. Oh hallelujah. I put my words within thy mouth. See. See. I have this day set thee over the nation. Over the nation. And over the kingdom. Over the kingdom. To root out. My God root it out. And to pull root out. out. Pull it on down. And to destroy. My God, God word gonna pull everything down. Root it out. And to pull everything down. Everything that's not of God. It got to come down. Everything that's not of God. It's got to come down. My God, read on. And to destroy. Uh, Apostle Paul also renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Yes. Everybody not honest, but you got to renounce it. You got to pull it down and destroy. Read on. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pull root up, pull down, and destroy. Yes. Read on. To build, to build, and to plant, and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, saying Jeremiah, I, God, God can fix a man up. Oh, you know, God got to fix you up. He has see how he knocked Paul down and fixed Paul up in Acts chapter 9. My God, but God can change your purpose. God can turn your life around. All you got to do, humble yourself, submit yourself under, under the mighty hands of God. Humble yourself under the mighty. God want to deal with humble people. Oh yes, God deal with humble people. Please read on what the word and of God saw said. And Saul, yet reading out threat and slaughter. And slaughter. Against the disciple of the Lord. Read on. Went unto the high priest. Read on. And desired him letters to Damascus of the, to the synagogue. Read on. That if he found any of this way. My God, you know the devil hate this way. My God, not an honest heart will fight God's no, way. No, sir. The devil hate that. Anytime you see, anytime you see somebody going against this way, you know what you're dealing with. That's why he said, believe not every spirit, Amen. but try the Praise spirit. God. The devil hate this way. Read on. I desire him led up to Damascus. Yes. To the synagogue that if he found any of this way. This way. Whether they were I'm men, talking about this way. Praise the God. The devil mad with this way. This way. This way. The devil hate this way. Why? This way is a clean way. This way is a holy way. 
It is a sanctified way. And the devil hate this way. Paul was mad with this way. Yes. Read on. This way. Uh, this way. Whether they were men or women. God, you watch people out here fighting and criticize this way. You will not criticize one thing. You want to right. get witness. The true worshiper worshiping the Father in spirit and in truth. People all over the world crying out. This gospel reaching the entire world. People are responding to it. They are crying all over the world. My God, what's the matter? I love this way. You got to have a love for the truth. Oh, if yes. you don't have a love for the truth, you're going to fight this way. Read on. Oh, this way, whether they were men or men women. Or woman. He might bring them down unto Jerusalem. Down unto Jerusalem. And as he journeyed. As he journeyed. He came near Damascus. God know how to fight for his people. God will make you come near. But God got the power. I God read on. Near Damascus. Near Damascus. Suddenly. Suddenly. There shone round about him a light from heaven. A light from heaven. And he fell to the earth. Fell to the earth. And heard a voice Hallelujah. saying unto him. But say, let me tell you. You have nothing to worry about. Somebody say, if you know the Lord is keeping you, yes. then what you got to worry about? You know, I don't worry about nothing because I know God is the boss. I know God is the boss. I ain't worry about nothing. My God, he got it all in control. There is no man stronger than God. Hey, God. Hallelujah. I don't worry about nothing. My God is greater than man. Man can talk big. Man can talk stout. But God is greater than man. Sinatra Rib was talking big. Sinatra Rib was talking stout. And Hezekiah, my God, my God. But oh, Hezekiah, comfort the people. Fear not for Sinatra Rib, nor the multitude with him. Why? Because with him is an arm of flesh. But with us is the Lord our God to fight our backer. My God, let God fight your backer. Let God fight your backer. We got more with us than the world got with them. With them is an arm of flesh. But with us, we got the Lord our God. God know how to fight for his people. God wouldn't let Paul carry out his purpose. Read on. And as he journeyed, as he journeyed came, near came near Damascus. And suddenly, suddenly and shine round about him, around about a him, light from heaven, a light from and heaven. He fell to the earth. My God, God, no, Peter, they didn't have to do nothing, but God step in. My God, he knocked him down, he fell to the and earth. he fell to the earth. He heard a voice saying unto heard him, heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, 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 Saul. why persecute? Why? Why are you fighting me? Why are you fighting my body? Why are you fighting my saints? Said, Why are you fighting my church? And he said, Who art thou, Lord? Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I'm not afraid to let men know who is. It. The Lord said, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. Whom thou persecute? I, are you not persecuting Peter and the rest? You up against me. I told you. That's why Paul had to come back and write it. He is the head of the body. The church. When you fight God people, you're not fighting us. You're fighting God. My God, I'm the head of the body. The church. I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Whom thou persecutest. It, it's hard for thee to kick against the prick. Do you hear what the word of God says? Say, why are you worrying about? You don't have to worry about nothing. God said, look unto me. Look to me. Yes. I am your maker. I am God Almighty. You don't have to worry about anything. It's hard to kick against the prayer. My God says, it's hard. You're fighting a hard and a losing back. It's hard well, for he, thee he kick against to the kick against the prey. And he trembling and astonished. Oh, say. you see how quick he humbled himself? God, that's what God wants people to humble themselves. He's trembling and astonished. And astonished. Said, Lord, saying, Lord, what would thou have me to do? What will thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Yes, arise, get up. 
Arise. I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to let the Lord men you who you persecuted. Yes. I'm going to let they tell you. You're going to go to them and humble yourself. Arise. And go into the city. Go into the city. And it shall be told you what I must God's do. God's people out there fighting us, criticizing. But you know, before it's all over, God's going to make that flesh humble themselves oh, yes. and come right back here to us. After you don't speak stout and bold, you some people got some stout words, but you're going you're gonna to cry out. My God, you're going to come on right back here. Read on. Arise. Arise. Go into the city. Go into the and city. And it shall be told thee what yeah. thou must do. Well, it's going to be told you what you must do. And the man which journeyed with him stood speechless. Stood. God will knock you speechless. God knocked them speechless. Hearing the voice. Hearing the voice. And seeing no man. Seeing no man. He saw rose from the earth. Rose from the earth. His eyes were open. Read on. He saw no man. No man. But they led him by the hand. Led him by the hand. And brought him into Damascus. Read on. And he was three days without sight. God neither did he eat them. nor what drink. What a mighty God we serve, saints. What a mighty God. I go right along with what the choir said. How great. Yes. How great. How great. How great. How great is our God when you fight God, you don't know him. My God, God knocked the sight out this man three yes, days. And he was three days without sight. Do you hear what the word of God said? Without sight. Neither they eat nor drink. They, they knock his appetite away from him. That's enough to knock your appetite. Knock everything away from you. Fell to the ground. <laughs> I don't blame him. He couldn't eat no more. God knocked him. I don't care if he were hungry. Knocked the hungry out of him. My God, my God. Three days without sight. Yes. Neither eat. Nor drink. Nor, do you hear what the word is? Nor drink. Don't eat nothing. Don't drink nothing. Read on. And that, there was that's enough to make you stop eating and drink. That's how great is our God. Amen. Read on. And there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias. Ananias. And to him said the Lord in a vision. In a vision. Ananias. Ananias. And he said, Behold, I'm here, Lord. I am here, Lord. And the Lord said unto him, Arise. Arise. Go into the street. I got which I got, is called straight. I got a mission for you. I got a mission and straight street. Mm -hmm. I got read on. Which is called straight. Read on. And inquire in the house of Judas. Read on. One called Saul Tarsus. Saul Tarsus. And behold, he prayed. My God, I got him prayed. Don't worry about him now. I don't change him. I ch he changed. <laughs> God can change. Oh, he, yes, Bishop. He changed him from Saul to Paul. Yeah. <laughs> You make a, he knock a, what a mighty God. You know, God changed a man. Yes, sir. He started out full of violence and death. When God finished, brother Paul, uh, God, he changed his name. That's right. So, <laughs> knock him everything. God can change something in your life and help you to straighten out. Oh, he, he, he prayed. I got him praying now. I, I got him praying. Read up. And had seen in a vision. Read on. A man named Ananias coming in and putting his hands on him. Read on. That he might receive his sight. Receive his sight. And I answered the Lord. Yes. I have heard by many of this man. Lord, who are you sending me to? Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I, I heard so much. Of this man. Of this man. How much evil. That's an evil man you're sending me. God, eh? God. God told, uh, he told Ezekiel, don't be afraid of their face. That's right, Bishop. Nor their looks. My God, don't be afraid of don't them. Don't be afraid of them. My God, yeah. read on. And I answered the Lord, and I heard by men of this man. Read on. How much evil have done to the saints in God, at Jerusalem. God can humble an evil man. Read on. And here has the authority from the chief priest. He got some authority with him. To bind all that call on thy name. Read on. But the Lord said unto him, Go God, thy way. God, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me what he got. But the Lord said unto him, Don't tell me what he got. You don't know who I am? <laughs> Glory to God. Come on. Don't you tell me what type of authority he got. Hmm. The Lord said unto him, Go thy way. Just obey me and go thy way. For he's a chosen vessel unto me. My God, uh, he's a chosen vessel unto me. He ain't yeah. fighting no more. He ain't trying to bound nobody no more. 
when I finish with him, he's going to preach my, my name. Read on. To bear my name before the Gentiles. He's going to bear my name now. He ain't going to persecute you no more. He's going to bear my name before the Gentiles. And the kings and the children of Israel. Read on. For I will show him. I'm going to show him. How great things. Read on. He must suffer for thy name's sake. For thy name's sake. And I went. His way, his way, and enter into the house and put his hands on him. Put his hands on him. Yes, brother Saul, brother Saul, brother Saul, the Lord, even Jesus. <laughs> he called him a brother now. Mm. You ain't, you ain't an enemy of the cross of Christ now. You my brother now. That's when you come and straighten now. You my brother. Read on. Brother Saul, Lord, the Lord, even Jesus. Even Jesus. Had appeared unto thee in the way. Read on. As I came and had sent me. Read on. That thou mightst receive thy sight. Read on. And be filled with the Holy Ghost. My God, I guess Paul was so glad to see Ananias. And hear his voice. Paul was so happy to hear his voice. Yeah. Read on. And to me, they fell from his eyes. Yes. As it been scaled. Scaled. And he received his sight. He received. For which. He read on. And arose and was baptized. Yes. And when he had received me. He baptized. He arose and what? was baptized. Read on. And when he had received me. Yes. He was strengthened. My God. What a, that's how great God is. I think that's in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 57, 15. If I'm not mistaken, I will get it. Isaiah 57, 15. What did he say? God let man know who he is. God want us to humble ourselves. 57, I believe, 15. For thus said the Lord. Thus said. For thus said the high. Do you know who's talking? God wants you to know who he is. For thus said the high and the lofty one. The high and the lofty the one. I in the one that inhabit the earth in eternity. Read on. Whose name is holy. Holy. Read on. I dwell in the high and holy place. My God, he said, I dwell in the high and holy place. With him. With him. Also is of a contrite and humble spirit. God wants humble people. You can get to God, but you got to humble yourself, beloved, under the mighty hands of God. A humble spirit. Yes, with him also. God. That is of a contrite. God wants humble people. Going back to Isaiah 40 and 30 now. My God, how great. How great. How great. I want to tell somebody how great is our God. If you know how great God is, you run and humble and get baptized. You do like the rest that God took the plane all the way, coming on from Fort Myers. What's the matter? I want to be baptized. The way you preach it, how? In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, talk to me on the pool. See, I can't wait to come and get in the pool. My God, that's humble people. See, I can't wait. My God, the flight delay, and they say, oh, we delay, but we're pressing on to get there. Read on. Who I, has directed the Spirit Who have the directed the Spirit of the Lord? Or the beginning of his counsel has taught him. You go over Three. it again. Who, who has who directed, directed the, of the, the Lord? counsel of the Spirit of the Lord? Or being his counselor. Yes. Has taught him. Who, who taught God? Amen. Read on. Whom took him. With whom took he counsel? Who, who, who counseled him? And who instructed him? Who instructed him? And taught him in the path of judgment. Read on. And taught him knowledge. Who taught him knowledge? And showed him the way of understanding. Read on. Behold. Behold. The nation are as a drop of a bucket. That's how great God is. That's how great is our God. He look at the nation. That's why you see when I see flesh lifted up and, and, and puff the cell, they don't know God. No, sir. The nation is as a jump of a bucket. Of a bucket. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Of the balance. Behold. Behold. He take up the eyes as a very little thing. Read on. And Lebanon is not sufficient to burn. Read on. Nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. For a burnt offering. All nations. Do you hear what God say? All nations. All nations. For him are as nothing. As, as nothing. God. 
Read on. And they are counting to him less than nothing. Less than nothing. Jesus. Do you hear what God? How many nations? All. Get me Acts chapter 10, 34 now. Since all nations, Peter opened his mouth and said of a truth. Then Peter. Then Peter. Opened his mouth and said of a truth. Read on. I perceive. Read on. That God is of no respect of person. No respect of but person. In every nation. I don't care what nation you are. You're going to have to come and line up with God's word. In every nation. Every nation Hallelujah. God looking for God fearing people. I don't care what nation you're from. In every nation. He that feareth him. He that feareth him. And ready to do right. God will accept you. My God on the day of Pentecost. All nation and the heaven was there. My God. God, when they heard it, they were pricking their hearts, said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostle, men and brethren, what shall we do? Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, how? In the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you and to your children, all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call, and is calling all nations yes. from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. All right, beloved, time fail me. You better hurry up. Come on over here like those six soul on the way here now. My God, take the plane if you have to take the plane. Come on. Write to us. Call us up. All right. We'll be back next week, Lord willing. The same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718-584-0691. International caller can call us via WhatsApp at 803-518. 5454. You may also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Again, you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you, is our prayers.
Let the church say praise the Lord again. Praise the Lord again. Thank God again tonight. For the true worshiper. My God, you know, it's a blessing to be among God, true worshiper. Paul got in it. My God, Paul said, I count myself happy. He said, I've been obtained help from God. You know, God will help you to continue. Don't let nothing get you down. The devil is a liar. He tried to make it look so hard. But God spake these words in, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. The enemy tried to make it look so hard, make it look impossible. But listen what God want us to do. Come on to me. God, God said, just come to me. Don't worry about anything. Just come to me. All you That's lady. why I say, he that cometh to God must believe, must believe that he is. That he is. And that he is a reward. That's why got so many people out there holding back. The enemy fight you. What about this? What about this? He flash everything before you. What you got to give up? But you got what I said, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and loses so all God wants us. Do you hear what God tell us to do? Come on to me. Come. God said, Don't worry about it. Come unto me. All ye that labor. All he that labor. Heavy laden. And heavy laden. And I will give you rest. God said, just come to me. Come unto me. Trust me. You got to trust. You, we got to trust God, saints, that he's a rewarder of all them that diligently seek him. When you come to God, you got to come trust in God. For he that cometh to God must believe, must believe that he is. When you come into God, you got to come, Lord. I believe. I'm not able, but you able. I tell God so many times. I said, I'm not able, but you able. I said, Lord, if you don't help me, who else is going to help me? I said, Lord, hold me up, Lord. Don't let me go down. You know God can hold you up. That's right, My Bishop. God, God can hold you up oh, yes. in the midst of your enemy waiting for you to go down. That's right, God Bishop. will hold you up. My God, they wait for Paul to drop dead. But let me tell you, Paul, keep on picking up stick. You don't have to go down because somebody say you're going down. God, having obtained help from God. Paul said, I was able to continue. You don't have to go down because somebody done prophesy you're going down. God can hold you up. Listen what the word of God say. Read on. Come on to me, all ye that labor. God said, just come to me. All ye that labor. All he that labor. And are heavy laden. Heavy laden. And I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Oh, just take your, my yoke upon you. And learn of me. You know, you got to learn God. I said, Bishop. You know, you got to come over here and you got to learn Hallelujah. God. One place Paul told the Ephesians, you have sons, so not so much as learn him. You know, you can learn of God. You can learn God is a keeper. God is a deliverer. God is a way maker. Take my yoke upon, upon you, and you and learn of me. Learn. You got to come over here and learn God. After a while, you, you say like Apostle Paul, I can do all things. True who Paul, true Christ which strengthened me. When God hold you up, you're coming back. God can change a testimony. Look who he took the man. Look where he take Paul from. My God, and making a mighty man of valor. Read on. Therefore, I'm meek and lowly in heart. And heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. Find rest to your soul. For my yoke is easy. Do you hear what God said? It, enemy tried to make it so hard, impossible. But God said, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. My burden is light. God know how to deliver. God is a way maker, saying, all you got, all God wants us to do is trust in him. One place, I believe he say in, in Romans chapter, Romans chapter 14 and the third verse, who art thou? 
Read that. Uh, Romans 14, 14 and the third verse. What did it say? Let no, let not him that judges. Yes. Let not him that despises him, that eat it not. Read it over. Let not him that eat it. Yes. Despise him that eat it not. Read on. And let not him which eat it not judge him that eat it. Read on. For God has received him. You see, don't worry about it. God receive you. You didn't come here by yourself. God receive you. You obey God. You didn't come in here by yourself. That's right. God said, I have God receive you. Mm -hmm. Read on. Who are thou that judges another man's servant? Sometimes people put the mouth on you. You won't be here long. You're going down. Yeah. But he said, who art thou yes. that judges? Another man's servant. Read on. To his own master he standeth or falleth. Or falleth. Yea. Do you hear what God's word said? Yea. He shall be holding up. If he holding up the world, don't tell me he can't hold up a man or a woman. That's right. Bishop. God can hold you up, saying. That's right. God say you shall. Be holding up. Do you hear what God said? Say, yea, let God be true. And every man a liar. If God say he going to hold you up, why can you not take him at his word? He shall be holding up. Be holding up. For God is able. Who is able? God. Who is able? God. Who is able? God. Drew said, now unto him that is able. Yes. To keep you from falling and to present you faultless for his presence of his God with exceeding joy. To the only to wise God our Savior. He shall be holding up. Yes. Why? For God is able. You better keep your eyes on the one that is able. David have a lot of fight in his lifetime. But David keep his eye. I think it's in Psalms 35 and 1 before I sit down. David fought a lot of battle, but he gave God the praise. He was a praying man now. You know you got to pray your way out over here. God say you shall be holding up, for God is able. Yes. What thing you're going through, you better turn it over to the one that is able. Everybody not able, but God is able. God is able That's who I turn it over to him. You got to turn it over. Somebody say, I turn it over to Jesus. And everything going to work out fine. He know how to work it out. My God, he can work it out while you're sleeping. Listen what David said. Psalms 35 and 1. Plead my cause, O Lord. Let God fight for you. Do you hear what David tell God? Lord, you plead my cause. I can't fight my own battle. You plead my cause. Plead my cause, O oh Lord. Not something you can't go up. You can't always out talk the enemy. Oh, yeah. That's but you right. can out pray him. Amen. You can get on your knees and subdue him in prayer. Plead my cause. Oh, Lord. Tell God to plead your cause. Oh, Lord. With them that scribe with me. Huh? With them that scribe with me. You think you can stop people from scribing with you? They're going to tell somebody that is no going to come back and tell you to make you upset. But you got to stay on your knees. Let them that strive with me. Fight against them. Let God fight your battle. Don't fight your own battle. God said fight. For men. David said fight against them. And fight against me. Read on. Take hold of shield and buckler. Read on. Stand up for my help. You know God will stand. Do you hear this man talking to God? Lord, stand up. Stand up for my help. I need you to stand up for my help. Stand, tell God to stand up for your help. That's it, Bishop. Stand up for my help. Stand up for my help. Are you afraid to talk to God? God said, come boldly. Before the throne of grace. Oh, hallelujah. You can find help. Tell God. Do you hear how this man talked to God? Stand up. Stand up for my help. Stand up for my help. Draw also the spear. Read on. And stop. Stop. The way against them. Read on. Me. Read on. Say unto my soul. Say, read on. I am thy salvation. I am thy salvation. Let them be confounded. Read on. And put to shame. David was a praying man. 
Read on. And put to shame that seek after my soul. Read on. Let them be turned back. God can turn your enemy back. Let them be turned back. And brought to confusion. God can confuse them. Yes, they devise my hurt. Devise your hurt. Let them be as a chaff. Read on. For the wind. Read on. And let the angel of the Lord chase them. My God. The angel of the Lord. My God. Oh, yeah. You know, that's diving up. One place, the angel chased them. My God's a natural river now. And he, he cast be God's the chose cast down hailstone upon them. Brother, when God fight for, for a man or a woman, ain't no limit what God won't do. Amen. God start to stone them with hailstone. He said they were more die with hailstone. My <laughs> God, God, when God stand up for your help, let the angel of the Lord. Chase them. The angel chase them. And let their ways be dark. Read on. And slippery. Read on. And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. What a... David was a praying man. Read on. For without cause have they hid for me. Whatever you do, don't go up against a child of God. Without cause. They are hid for me. Their net. Their net. In a pit. In a pit. Which without cause. Read on. They have dig for my soul. They read on. Let destruction come upon him. My God, this man were praying. Read on. Let destruction come upon him as unaware. Read on. Let his net that he has here catch himself. You see, people can do something and they fall in the same pit. Mm -hmm. Read on. Yeah, catch himself into the very destruction. Read on. Let him fall. Read on. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Stay joyful in the Lord, Praise saints. God. Don't let people get you upset and get you out the will of the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in the Lord. Yes, it shall rejoice in its salvation. Rejoice in its salvation. And all my bones shall say. Read on. Lord. Lord. Who is likened unto thee? Who is likened unto thee? Which delivered the poor from him. God can deliver you. Come from, on, Bishop. From him that is too strong for him. Too strong for him. Yea, the poor. Read on. And the needy. And the needy. From him that spoiled him. Read on. False witness did rise up. Read on. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. You got to go through something and decide where you're holding this. But you better trust God. Come on, Bishop. Read on. They reward me evil for good. You do good and somebody turn around and do you evil. But keep on doing good Come now. On, yes, read sir. on. To spoil the spoiling of my soul. Read on. But as for me. As for me. When they were sick. Read on. My clothing was sackcloth. Read on. I humble my soul. Humble my soul. With fasting and for my prayers. And pray. Return unto my own bosom. Read on. I behave myself. Read on. As though he had been my friend. Read on. Or brother. A brother. I bow down heavily. Read on. One that mourned for his mother. Mourned for his mother. But in my adversity. In my adversity. They rejoice. They, my God. That's why he said, don't let them rejoice. They rejoice. Yes, and gather themselves together. Together? Yea, they object to gather themselves together. Read on. Against me. Against and me. I knew it not. I knew it not. They did tear me. Read on. Cease not. Read on. With hypocritical mockers. Read on. And feasts. Read on. They gash upon me. Read on. With their teeth. With their teeth. How long? Right. Lord, how long? I wonder if I say, don't let them say, uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. He was a praying man now. Further up there, one place said, don't even let them say, uh-huh. Uh-huh. David was a praying man now. Yes, that's right. My God, a praying man or a praying woman, you got to get the victory. I don't care how bad it is. Whatever you're facing, you coming out. The people shall dwell alone. Won't be reckoned among the nation. God, we are dwelling alone, saints. That's it, people Bishop. get mad. We don't fellowship everything. We don't. The Bible says have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness, but rather reprove them. Why? Evil communication corrupt good man. man. You fool around and think it can't corrupt you. It corrupt you. Paul say, I told you now, tell you weeping. They are the enemy of the cross of Christ.
God is adding to the church there. Even our, yeah, our sister, young one, she got baptized. Yes. Come up and got baptized. I see God doing a mighty work, saying five more and the way come in to get baptized. Say we can't wait to get here. God bless you. God keep you. Let's pray one. Amen. Amen.